Alina Svitolina versus Elena Rubekina is the bronze medal match for the Olympics for 2021. And both players have had different roads to get to the bronze medal match. Rubekina started the tournament off as the number 15 seed and would take on Aussie veteran Sam Stoza. And after a close first set, she got through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2. Her second round matchup was against the Swede Pedersen, and again another straight sets victory, cruising to victory 6-2, 6-3. Her third round opponent was against Vekic, who had just beaten the number three seed Sabalenka. And after a tied first set, Rabakina showed that she is one of the biggest hitters in the top 20, getting through in straight sets 7-6, 6-4. Her quarter final matchup was against fellow big hitter, former world number one, number seven seed Muguruza. And again after a close first set, Rabakina would prevail in straight 7-5, 6-1. Her semi-final opponent was against the number nine seed Bencic, who had had a really great tournament herself. And this is where the run would end for Rabakina. After missing multiple set points in the first set, she pushed it to three, but Bencic ultimately got the win. 6-7, 6-4, 3-6, meaning Rabakina would have to play the bronze medal match. The number four seed Svetolina started her tournament off against the German Sigmund, and after losing the second set, she had to fight for victory, winning in three, 6-3, 5-7, 6-4. Her second round matchup was against the Aussie Tomanovic. And after losing the first set, again, she had to fight in three sets. 4-6, 6-3, 6-4. Her third round match was against the number 14 seed Sakari. And again, after losing the first set, Svetolina was forced to fight, eventually getting through 5-7, 6-3, 6-4. Six, Her quarterfinal matchup was against the unseeded Georgie. And this was by far Svetolina's best match of the tournament, winning in straight sets. 6-4, 6-4. The semi-final matchup was against the giant killer Vondrasova, who had beaten Osaka along the way to get to this stage. And the aggression of Vondrasova proved too much for Svetolina, who eventually went down in straight sets, 3-6, 1-6, to get into the bronze medal match. These two have played two times before with the head-to-head -head equal at one apiece. And they actually played a couple of weeks ago in Eastbourne with Rabakina getting the straight sets win on the grass courts. If Rabakina is gonna win this match, she needs to be aggressive as she has been all week. The serve has to be big and she has to take her chances. She had a lot of chances against Bencic in the semifinals, didn't take them, could have easily won that match and be playing for gold, but she has to take her chance against Svetolina, who is a more experienced player and a higher seed. If Svetolina's gonna win, she needs to be defensive. She needs to get everything back that Rabakina throws at her. We know Rabakina's gonna have big serves, big forehands. Svetolina needs to go side to side and get everything back, make Rabakina hit two, three, four extra shots. This is a tough one for me to pick because both players are coming off a loss in their semifinals to play a final in that kind of bronze medal match. So it's very strange to be having this situation, but I'm gonna go with Rabakina to win. I feel like she played a hell of a lot better in her match against Bencic. And again, she had chances, gonna be very disappointed disappointed, but it's not over for her, whereas Svetolina didn't really put up much of a fight against Vondrasova in her semifinals. So I'm going to go with Rabakina to win, but let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win the bronze medal for the women?